Welcome to episode 1 of the Indie Game Dev Journal, a series about my journey as a game developer. My name is Noah Khalees, creator of Blackthorn Prod, and in this video we will take a look at my very first digital game, Midnight Fire. Midnight Fire is a simple, 3D, isometric, top-down shooter game, where the player controls a little wizard shooting fireballs at various undead enemies. The game goal is very straightforward, survive the most undead waves possible. This little game was made in roughly two and a half weeks by two people. Me, Noah, at the time 16 years old. I was responsible for all the art, so concepts, 3D models, textures and the animations and my brother, Liam, at the time 14 years old, handled the game programming. To bring Midnight Fire to life, we used the amazing Unity game engine, Monodevelop has scripting editor, and Autodesk Maya for the art and animation. All of these can be acquired for free, and I'll provide the links in the description down below. As you can see, it's a very small game. There's a simple silhouette style main menu, one tiny play area, a cute cartoony forest, the player character and three enemies. The zombie, a slow character that has two health and deals two points of damage. The skeleton, fast but weak with only one health and one damage. And the necromancer, a zombie with hair that shoots necrotic green fireballs from his staff. Yet despite the small scope and simplicity of the project, completing it was extremely challenging. Indeed, this was the first digital game I completed not the first one I started. I tried making several games before Midnight Fire, and none of them ever saw the light of day. They were never even near completion. This starting a new game and giving up on it soon after lasted quite some time. I was unable to actually complete one, I just gave up and started something new. And the reason this was happening? I wanted to make something too big. My ideas were too ambitious for my skill level. When I finally realized I should keep my big, complex ideas written on paper for the future and start small, things changed. I finished the game, the one you see right here. So the message I have for any novice game creator out there is to start with something small and simple, complete it and then create another game a little more ambitious until you have the experience and skill to make your dream game. And I can assure you, even the smallest of projects at first will be hard to complete. For Midnight Fire, me and my brother had a pack of problems. Textures would sometimes disappear, animations would not play when imported into Unity, and the UI would, for no apparent reason, float in the middle of the screen. Game creation is hard, especially for small teams or when completely solo. There is so much that goes into a game. Code, animation, concept art, modeling, texturing, game design, storytelling, audio. The list can be viewed as quite daunting, but with the amount of quality tutorials out there, and amazing tools such as Unity, I believe anyone with a computer, passion and motivation can make a game. And nothing can beat the feeling of joy and fulfillment that me and my brother had as we saw our creation slowly but surely come to life. And then seeing family and friends have fun with our game, that was the cherry on the cake. Our motivation, confidence and love for game development boosted like crazy. Me and my brother set out to make our second game, Color Shooter. Alright, that's the end of the first video in the series. I hope you will continue following us on our game creation journey. Have a great day, you certainly can make my day wonderful by subscribing and hitting the like button. Alright, cheers!